there too was about sin and the devil. The point I made was in the Islamic literature I was given, there was barely any reference to sin, the forgiveness of sin, the condemnation that we would all feel if we had no way to be forgiven for our sin. This was one part of the question. And yes, therefore, one question at a time, it will be better. Yes. As you told that you gave a short speech, I was trying to yes. cover as much as I could. I apologize for my no long problem, question. No problem, brother. So, brother, that was a question that the literature that was given to him, that literature did not contain sin. So, I don't know which literature was given to you. But if you read the Quran, the Quran also speaks about sin. It speaks about hell. It speaks about punishment. Now, the literature that was given to you may be a particular topic like today's talk i never spoke about sin because the topic was similarity between islam and christianity but i have given other talks which speak about sin so the literature that was given to you brother was maybe dealing in a particular specialized subject it may not be dealing with sin but to say that islam doesn't speak about sin is wrong so quran like the bible also speaks about sin but the difference in the bible and the quran what the church teaches about the original sin quran doesn't believe in that which I gave Dansal earlier, which I don't intend repeating, that nowhere does the Bible speak about the original sin. It is the teaching of the church. So Quran does not speak about original sin. And like the Bible, as Bible says in Ezekiel chapter number 18, verse number 20, that the soul that sin shall die. The father shall not bear the iniquity of the son, neither shall the son bear the iniquity of the father. The righteousness of the righteous shall be upon him. The wickedness of the wicked shall be upon him. Similarly, the Quran says, no bearer of burden can bear the burden of others. If you commit a sin, you will be responsible. No one else can bear the burden. So Quran also speaks about rewards, speaks about punishment, speaks about sin, various things. In my talk, though I didn't mention sin, but indirectly I did mention also about sin. If you have alcohol, it's a sin. If you have pork, it's a sin. If you do adultery, it's a sin. But I was speaking in the positive aspect. Don't have alcohol, don't have pork, don't do adultery. So even the Quran speaks about sin. Hope that answers the question, brother.